Hey YouTube, today I'm going to be showing you how to configure Visual Basic 2005. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is you want to go onto this website, microsoft.com forward slash express forward slash 2005 forward slash download forward slash default dot ASPX and you'll get this. The link is in the description bar. Um, you'll get uh, a few boxes with downloads for different software. You've got Visual C, Visual C++, Visual Basic, uh, SQL Server, Visual J for Java, and the one we want is Visual Basic 2005 Express Edition. It's the second one down on the left hand column. Select the language you want, so in this case it's English, and I'm going to click download. Save the file, I'm going to save it to my desktop, save it where you like. Um, wait for it to uh, download, scan for viruses in this case as well. Um, and once it's finished doing that, um, uh, you can go to your desktop and there we go, it's finished. Go to your desktop and go to the file, double click on it and click run. Uh, it will open ex an extraction package thing um, which may flash up for a few seconds um, and then it will come up with this and it will probably, chances are, it will go into a not responding mode. Just leave it because it's trying to configure and then it will disappear. This will pop up um, and this as it says, may take a minute or two. So that's almost finished. It's going to finish in a sec and it's going to come up with a new box. It's going to come up with a box that says, Welcome to Setup. Um, and it's going to ask, um, Yes, send my information. Um, you can tick that if you want. I'm not going to tick that. Um, just click Next if you don't want to. Read the terms and conditions. Blah blah blah. Um, and click I accept. Click next. Um, and these are the add ons. Uh, make sure that um, neither of them, we don't want either of them to be ticked in this case. So make sure they're unticked, both of them. Um, they're not ticked. Um, you don't have to install them, so don't unless you want them. Click next and click install. It will now connect to the internet and download. Uh, files from the internet, um, the installation files. So leave that for a bit um, and then uh, once it's completed it will start installation. Okay so the download is almost finished um, depending on your internet connection that will obviously vary uh, the time it takes to download the software off uh, the software installation package off the internet um, and um, once that's finished it will load up a new box as you'll see in a few seconds it's got two megabytes left to download now it's got one um, and it it usually takes around five minutes depending on internet connection speed um, so there we go it's finished saying please wait and it's currently installing um, one of one um, it's currently installing the package Visual Basic 2005 Express Edition Okay, so there we go, it's done, and now you'll get this. It'll say you must register your software within 30 days, so you want to go to register now and click on that. It'll open up your default internet browser, whether it's Internet Explorer, Mozilla Firefox, Safari, or Opera, or whatever you're running. Um, and it will load a website, it will load an MSN, uh, not MSN, a Windows, uh, Windows Microsoft website, because Visual Basic is run by Microsoft. Visual Studios, there we go, this has popped up, uh, it's an HTTPS secure one, um, and you must have a Windows Live ID, so that's an MSN or Hotmail account. Um, click sign up now if you don't already, I've already got one, so I am going to enter my password, and click enter, and I'm going to log in. Um, once you click enter and log in, this should come up with a form which you need to fill in. Uh, this is just like a confirmation of what's going on, your email address, your uh, postal code, where you live, uh, what your primary role is. If you don't have one, just go down uh, to the bottom to other, which is what I'm going to do. Um, select the programming languages you are interested in. If you're not interested in any, just don't tick any, obviously. I've ticked the ones that I, I like. Um, what areas of technology are you interested in? Tick the ones that you like. This is mainly for if they email you, which they shouldn't. If you don't want to hear from Microsoft, untick this. And if you don't want to hear from Microsoft partners, uh, don't take that. Um, 
Once you've done all that, click continue. Um, a loading thing should come up. And now this page, thank you for registering. Um, completion, um, you completed registering your product. Your registration key, copy that and click continue. And it will take you back to the um, Microsoft Visual Studios website. Um, you can close that now. Um, and now click exit on the installation box. And there you go, it's now installed onto your, onto your computer. Here we go, it's on mine, it, can, it may be on your shortcuts, it may be on your desktop, but if it's not, go onto all programs. And there you go, here's Windows Visual Studios. Thanks for watching guys, more videos coming up soon.